Yes, I want to give thanks and praise to the Most High, give thanks for life. Again, I want to give thanks to the great man, um, Tony Barber, inside his um, home again, the Conscious Barber Shop in the um, UK. And we feel the people going to pirate film runners now, you know. So, Tony, if people pirate, you know, so you're the original done, up done still, you know. So, watch the space here. Inside the host, we have. Um, Ross Minty, yes, sir. Okay, man. Yes, yes, I'm very Minty, well. Minty, you're looking well, man. You're facing a Juice, I'm about to face, man. I have to go to the gym as much, so I need to just lose a bit of weight. That's all. I'm always good gift, thanks. Yeah, man, you look good, man. Thank so, you, Minty, sir. I see you on the, um, the panel, and I yeah. give some serious uh, reasoning. How do you find the event yesterday, man? Yeah, no, I really enjoyed it, man. And I think that the, the events that Jammers, Buzzy, and and the, the rest of the crew put on, are all, and yourself, of course, mm. all day, are, are, are really good forms of entertainment and education. So it's entertainment and it's true, really it's true. fantastic, man. I, you know, I, I try to get them to them as often as possible. Mm. And, um, I, you know, I'm just surprised more people don't come. Although they're well attended. I would like it to be a total full house as opposed to three quarters to full. Yeah, that every good. seat be full up, man. Full up, you know yeah. I mean? we're, we're getting there, so... It's such a good event, though. Yeah, I, I really yeah. like it, man. Mm. And so forth. Okay, mm. then. Well, as we um, we interviewed um, Buzzby earlier on, we were talking about the other thing about um, relationship. Buzzby, you interviewed him earlier? Yeah. Buzzby? Oh, you interviewed him? Buzzby? Yes. Yeah. It's troublesome, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's troublesome, not Buzzby. Buzzby, they're for the Buzzby. That's my friend, Buzzby. He's a good yeah. guy. Uh, I was talking about relationship, and etc. Uh, and it so happens that um, this weekend we've got a vet talking about relationship, talking about a abusive relationship. And how this really come about? Um, I should have mentioned it on um, the Buzz Buzz Bee show, but <laughs> earlier on that um, the film Looking for Love. Do you see the film Looking for yes, Love? Yes, yes, I've seen it a couple of times. Yeah, and uh, <coughs> we decided to say, well, from the film there, we're going to do something about abusive relationship. But I'll just make your spin about the other thing about abusive relationship. So, abusive uh, relationship. Yeah, another thing about relationship, etc. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, talking about the face of the heart, it's difficult because we see. As we were talking about earlier, yeah, we see women stay in relationships which are abusive, but the sex is good. <laughs> well, they may get treated good every other way, but the sex is bad in the gut. So, yeah. relationships are a funny thing, man. But you know, uh, abusive relationships, specifically talking about that, I think that it's all to do with self esteem, really. I mean, whether it's the man or the woman, because a man can be abused in relationships too. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's happened, but generically, yeah. generally, we know that it's women. Who would abuse, and that's the general feeling. And I think that um, it's to do with the self esteem that the sister or the brother doesn't have a, a high f positive feeling about themselves, and mm -hmm. that's why they end up staying in abusive relationships. Now, really, to encourage someone to come out of an abusive relationship, we have to build up the self esteem, that's the answer, mm -hmm. to encourage them to feel empowered. but Obviously, the power has been taken away from the by the abusive partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so um, I just want to write on yeah, what you're saying that go on. it's very important to build up. Uh, both you need to build up your self-esteem, sure. right? And build up self-esteem by understanding more of yourself, mm. understanding more of your purpose in life. And once you have a purpose, you'll have a, a direction, you know. And that's why, you know, we talk about. Um, relationship, right? Especially talk about committed relationship. You go look at it now as a as a business. Not saying a mm. business world. Mm. You know, you're trying to know that person got more money than you and try to take. You know, the mindset you have. You know, as a business partner, you invest into a into a barber shop or a restaurant. Same kind of mindset you look. Absolutely. In, in, in a relationship. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and not only that. Um, it's interesting. One of the sketch was about betrayal and trust and mm -hmm. whatever, 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 right? And one of the the, um, the sister was saying that um, you know, you know, you're never around, you're never there, and blah blah blah. And that comes to communication, and everything, right? Absolutely. Right. And obviously, there's a bit of insecurity from her side as a both part. But I mean, that's why it's very important to come together and have regular. Discussions, yeah. I agree with you 100%. Look, you know, like I was, I was saying to DJ Valentine, who was at the event yesterday, mm -hmm. who was on SLR, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were talking about like relationships. And when you're younger, you get into relationships, you just go with the flow. Don't <laughs> yeah, you? Sure, cool. you just go well with the said. flow, man. Well you said. see some from our perspective, a beautiful woman. Yeah, yeah. You want to get to know her, you get to know her mind a bit, you've got a bit of chemistry. After two weeks, you're, you're bumping. 
Mm. Bumping uglies. Mm. <laughs> you know. And then the relationships either develops or it doesn't. And then if not, you just find somebody else. Mm. And that's how you, 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 yeah. your relationships happen. But as you get older, it's like business. When you're young in business, you just go through the motions. You don't know what you're it's doing. But as you get older, you develop and you get a better understanding of how business goes and how True. relationships go. So as you said, and you're absolutely right, Ducky. Now, if I'm going into a relationship with, with a queen, what can what have we both got to give to this relationship? What am I going to get from you? What are you going to get from me? Mm. We have to establish that at the beginning. Are we going to buy a home together? Are we going to get married? Are we going to have a business together mm. to cement this relationship to make it go in one direction? Two people becoming one. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I'm I'm totally with that. And also, as we said, communication, commitment, loyalty, devotion. These things are things we have to ascertain from the beginning because I see a, a queen now I want to be with you I'm devoted to you and I'm going to make you feel like a queen I'm going to do my best to make you happy and hopefully you will do the same mm. so I'm, I'm with you on that 100% it's like and when you mention the contract you, you're right it's it's not a contract where you go okay and let me just get our lawyers involved <laughs> and back to, but it's, it's, it's a, what we call a handshake contract yeah, yeah. an unwritten contract where we say we're going to be committed to each other we're going to work together as one and we're going to really try and make this relationship the, the best yeah, relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. we both had yeah. to all our experience man. and also what's very important right that you have uh, meetings every week or every two every case might be and discuss on the agenda sure, we discussed sure, last sure. week and uh, whatever and discussed that are we on the same are we the same path same path? is this thing progressing in the direction you see what I'm, 100% you see, you see what 100% I'm man 100% um, that's very important you know what I mean um, to have these regular meetings in terms of communicating with your partner and just working things out just having just feeling having discussion just having an honest discu open mm -hmm. discussion mm -hmm. just feel comfortable with each other and you know see if you're, you're on track you see what I'm saying but you know what I think though, which is, is part of that is it's like we, I mentioned yesterday that women have to be validated. So to validate a queen, you tell her you love her, but you don't just tell her it, you show her it basically. Sure. You take her out for meals, you cook her a lovely sure. meal one time, you pour a bath for her, you rub her feet, you tell her you're important to me, man, I'm going to make you feel good. So it's, it's things like that from a man's perspective. And trust me, when you treat a woman good like that, you, you, you're set. Anything you want, you're going to get basically. Yeah. Anything you want, you're gonna. I don't mean that in a rude or crude way. I mean, yeah. in the bounds yeah. of the relationship, yeah. Yeah. you'll get treated like a king. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. If you treat your woman like a queen, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. If, if you're not regular me, but do something towards developing the relationship by yeah. making your queen feel good. Yeah, a hundred percent, man. Yeah. But the regular means is not a bad thing mm. at all. I mean. Doing some form of communication on a weekly basis mm. or a regular basis mm. is absolutely a, a fantastic yeah, idea, yeah. I think. But what you're saying is absolutely crucial that you back it up with um, action, with action. Definitely, yeah. man. Definitely. Because, you see, when we talk about love, right, because um, love is very loosely word, you know what I mean? I would say... It's got, so many, it's got such a broad yeah, context, I'm, man. I would yeah. say that I, I, I love my, <laughs> my queen. And then poison with, 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 with poor man. <laughs> I still say I love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I can abuse my, my queen. I still say I, you see what I'm saying? For sure. Doesn't mean for nothing. Sure, for sure. But if you back it up with, with action, with actual commitment. Absolutely, right? man, absolutely. Right? Loyalty, devotion. Yeah. Yes, yes. I. And that's where the love will come out organic. But back it up by commitment and love. You see, and that's why it's very important that um, when you have a queen, right? This liberation talk, no, because you're right, you know. If you have a queen, back it up. Don't just say by love, but back it up with action and commitment, and then she will be on a hundred percent based on your commitment. Right. Yeah. Because you, you know one thing with, with just to quickly, be yeah. One thing with sisters is that like they'll say, oh, uh, the woman will say to the man, this is just a scenario. Oh, do you love me? He goes, yeah, of course I do. I'm here. They don't want to hear just I'm here. It's not just a fact. I'm here. They want you to physically show them how you love them, basically. Yeah, truly, truly, so truly. the stars are always the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but come back to the um, to the film, mm, right? Looking, looking for, for love. Looking yeah. for love. Great film. So I mean, I gave a big up uh, Melody Shabazz. In fact, I was trying to get Shabazz in here, man. I give him some arguments, say, boy, my film thing set up and this and that. And we Shabazz, if you listen to us right now, Shabazz, you should be here with us because we want to promote you, you know? That's right. Tell boy, my film set up and my film thing on YouTube and we don't want you to argue with Shabazz. You should be here with us. <laughs> so come back to 
after the team looking for love. Yeah, looking for love. Yeah. I, 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 I thought it was a fantastic film, actually. I paid big money to go to the cinema in Brixton when it first came on to see it. And then it was worth it, though, to be honest, man. Like, because what you pay about, what, eight pounds to go to the cinema, I paid, paid almost double. <laughs> but I didn't mind, you know, because I wanted to support the Black Brother, supporting the Black film, supporting the film, talking about empowering our people. And it was great on so many levels because it, it was great information it was psychologically psychologically informative it was uh, uh, aesthetically um, pleasing it was funny it was witty it had so many components to it man and it, to me it, it was just a really great package so I have to lord Men Election Bands for putting such a fantastic oh, film yeah, together. Yeah, 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 sure. It was so good and then and like you had the, the, the serious part where you had the, the poetess speaking and she's really hitting it hard with the pull of the camera. And then you'd have uh, Mr C and uh, the Marie Spencer there, mm. just talking and making jokes. So the great the contrast was fantastic, Ducky man. Yeah, yeah. And it was so there were some points which were hitting, 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 hitting the psychological aspects about the past, yeah. bringing the past into present relationships. But Uma um, Johnson was very good. Yeah, 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 yeah no, but absolutely, yeah. yeah. But he was talking, the very thing I've said, that's what he said yeah, about yeah. bringing your past yeah. into the present relationship, yeah, yeah. which is a lot of people do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you know, it's a film, I said to everybody, must go on and watch it with your family, you know, your loved ones, and have a discussion, man, because there's so much in there to uh, to learn. Um, well, um, Rav Kari Ross Minty, yeah? yeah. Ross Minty. <laughs> you know, you'll have to. <laughs> Ross Minty. <laughs> right. So, so yeah. where the future holds for you personally? I mean, I know you're doing some stuff for the um, road show and, sure, sure. and stuff. So where's the future holds for you? Yeah, well, um, as you know, I've just started, from last year I started uh, on, on a uh, community radio station. And the show is going really well. We're going to be bringing you on, of course, mm -hmm. in time. We had um, the, the, the aforementioned Buzz and Bees on there with their jammers who... Uh, visualised the the, um, the event yesterday, mm -hmm. the Speakers Club, mm -hmm. and we had Errol Hines on there, and that was a fantastic show we had mm -hmm. uh, with, with those brothers, man. It's got such a fantastic response. Okay. So what, the, 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 the show, just to touch on the show, is really about showing the successful side of the African community, the black community. And when we say African, we mean it in the Peter Touch sense. Mm -hmm. No matter where you come from, no matter where you're born, you're African, whether you're Jamaican, mm -hmm. or you're born in America, or if you're black, you're African. So it's really there to uplift our community. We show successful people who've done fantastic things in the community because that's the face of our community we want to show. Mm. That successful side, it's, it's a conduit for success, for upliftment, because we have motivational shows True, as well. Yeah, yeah. We do a cool thing called Message in the Music where I play conscious reggae songs and break down the message in the music. Because music for us as Africans is not just about entertainment, it's about education as well. Yeah. So we just break down the positive message in it and just use it as a motivation as a mm. pope, because that's what reggae music is to me. It's very motivational. So the, 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 the show is really, and also we, we teach a bit of African history and that definitely promotes African positive people all day long. So the, the show to me is going fantastic and I'm really happy and proud about how it's developed. Also, we're going to be um, doing a, another road show. Uh, and actually, we could talk about relationships. Actually, be <laughs> fantastic, you know, because we usually do two questions with the road show, and we usually use radio DJs like yourself. You were on the very first one, mm. and we we, we 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 bring the concept of radio, the energy of radio, into a live event. So we have radio DJs there. So I'll be there. Buzz and Bees will potentially be there. People like Jammers, yourself. And we always have a queen, one or two queens, always representing, um, you know, our community because without the queens, we're not. Mm. They're the I vine balance. They're part of the balance, mm -hmm. you know. So um, that's that's what the, the, the future is is holding at the moment. But the radio show is going to be continuing. We're going to be doing events, and I've got another idea. I'm just trying to develop. I don't want to talk about it just yet because when it's actually manifested, yeah, that's when I'm going to talk, talk about talk, it. Talk, we, have, we have actions to do the talking, yeah. basically. And also, um, we, you know, we can't let you go over. Mentioned Muta Baruch, I know you. <laughs> you, you, you brought him over. You're the great man who brought him over a few years ago, and it really was. That's why I get to know you really. And uh, I don't well, know. We knew you before then, Dougie. It's yeah. just that we reconnected yeah. because yeah. of that. Basically. Yeah, I know you. When you talk one time, we talk about the music and stuff. Sure, sure, that's right. That's yeah. right. That's but right. how did that, how did that, how did that 
materialized to move to Baruka. Well, well, you know, you know me, Dougie, and I have a certain view on this God concept. <laughs> the, this, this God concept, we believe in this God in the sky. And it's not spirituality. We don't, not that we don't do with that or divinity, but this God concept, which, which has been perpetrated by the major religions, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, we reject not, not, not people in them, but the idea that God's in the sky, yeah, yeah. and there's this person coming and looking at you and gives you good things, <laughs> and when you're bad, you get whipped. We reject that whole concept. So the way I idealize that, I don't pray to God or do nothing, I get down on my knees. The way I develop things in my mind is, first of all, obviously we get the idea, we, get, we have a definite purpose, mm. and then when we see this is what we want, we visualize it. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That, that's, that's how it, it, it manifests. And what happened, Dougie, yeah, I'm visualizing this thing so much. So after a month of visualizing it, I just got out to my bed one day, <laughs> and I'm like that. I said, I've got to go and contact this dude. <laughs> I've got to go and contact this dude. I didn't know how I was going to contact him, but the first thing I said to myself, let me just go on the internet. Let me just go on the internet and see if I can get a contact with him. In some way, somehow, his, his, his email address was there. Okay. So I sent an email to him. My name is this. I, In fact, you know certain people I know because you knew certain Ras like Ito Vital yeah. up the road. He knows him. He knows Tall Eye. Yeah. He knows uh, the guy called Darwitz, Irons. He knew all them brethren. Yeah. So, I sent him Yana and I'm interested in bringing you to take you around the country, blah, 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 blah. No, no idea if I was going to do it, but just that I want to do this. <laughs> anyway, he got back to me, sent me his number. I said, cool. Called him that same day. He said, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And he hears me asking and thinks I'm a white man, which most people do. <laughs> anyway... It, from there, everything just flew, Dougie. Yeah, don't ask me how, because I didn't even have internet in my home. So when I'm organising this trip, I had to go to internet cafes. That's what I'm saying. I'm, yeah. yeah, I was there till like from like 7 till 10 in the internet cafe, organising the flight, sending them emails, organising the information. I had no computer in my house, Dougie. So I was doing this out of my house. Yeah. Everything was in computer, <laughs> internet cafes. Yeah. But eventually, well, the, the, so we got everything sorted, this flight, his hotels, everything was sorted from Manchester, Birmingham, mm. and the two shows we did in London. Mm. And then um, got the car sorted, so everything was sorted. The only thing that would have stopped us if he gets in the country, <laughs> you know, but because I had a dream that he, he was flying over on a cloud, I was convinced he was coming, yeah. you know, so he came over. So when me and Makita went to pick him up, he came, he was there. I was like, I knew him already. Yeah. So then everything just flew from there. We did the first show in Birmingham, then we went to Manchester, and then we did two great shows in London. London yeah. and, and, and that was it, man. So there was no praying to God. It was just a foc focus, visualization, uh, uh, feeling it. And then that feeling is what makes you want to manifest yeah, it, basically. Yeah. And that's how it went, man. Okay, we've got yeah. about a minute left. Is that contact, people contact, or email address, or website? Uh, it, 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 uh, well, if people want to contact me, email. You can contact me on um, solarminty at gmail.com, as it sounds. Solarminty at gmail.com. So anything about, we can do event managing, so we can manage your events. We teach radio skills. Dougie gets involved with that, and so Buzz and Bees. We teach... Um, D different things we, we teach radio presentation and um what, what else we teach but well, we do a number of things but just contact me and we can speak about it certainly okay, man. Then, well, i think we're on that time to meet me to it's a pleasure man. Respect, always man, man. always, man. always it's a pleasure, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> ross minty is at the horse good thanks man good thanks yeah.